Hi everyone, I hope you all are doing well and all of you are safe and healthy. This is Radhika here again and this video is going to be about how to make a life for yourself when you find yourself in a narcissistic um, family. So this is especially for the first part of your life but say if uh, like it's for your birth family if you have been born in this birth family but it can also apply if you kind of married into like a narcissistic family and now you're trying to get out of that situation um so it it actually applies in both the cases but uh most of the time the people i talk to my clients uh majority of them are in the first category where they find that their birth family uh, is narcissistic and they have a problem uh, getting a kickstart into the second part of their life you know when they are independent when they are thriving on their own etc uh, but it also applies if you married into a narcissistic family you got divorced and now you want to restart your life um so yeah how do you make your life so i'm telling you this from my personal experience of how i kind of um made my life better now obviously it might not be the ideal for everyone and you know different people have different ambitions in life so if if you have like different ambitions you might have to work harder um in those areas but at least this will get you a good uh, like launch pad to kind of start your next steps from um so the first step i would say if if you are say below uh, like you haven't started your career off yet you haven't got into that second part of your life yet the first thing is concentrate on your studies or your skill it need not be study so it need not be like a certification or something but if you have a skill say you are a good cook you know and you know that if you start a food business you will do well in it so whatever skill you have hone that skill uh, if that skill is studying like if you want a certification or if you want a degree from some university or something like that if you want to build your resume uh, start building that so i know this is the narcissistic family takes a lot of energy away and a confidence away and your concentration away from yourself into the traumas and the dramas that they create but the first important step is to get that focus on yourself and get your grades up if you are into studying or get your skill honed if if you are into some sort of a skill so for me for example i uh, always try to do really well in my studies and i kind of did really well in that i used to always be you know in the top 5 of my class etc and in return of for that i really never got too much of appreciation from my family like for the others they would be appreciated they would be cherished they would be you know like adored for coming first or second but in my case i was the only one who would cheer myself up and then of course i found friends in my um, i did find some friends in my school life who had big hearts who were not in competition with me and who would actually cheer my victories in school so that was like a kind of like a adopted like it was like an adopted family that i had in my friends and they would be the ones cheering me on in their own way you know so it's not like a whole lot of cheering but a little bit of support uh, goes a long way when you're getting out of that phase so so make uh, see who's supportive of you no matter how small that support is and take it you know use that support to kind of push yourself in the direction you want to go in and um so build your resume build your skill set and then slowly try to stand on your own two feet so uh, for me for example once i was done with my engineering i kind of applied for scholarships because i didn't have so much money so i had to apply for scholarships everywhere and 
I was lucky enough to get a scholarship in uh, University of Minnesota in Duluth and they actually provided for all my expenses for masters I only had to pay a part of it and along with that I also got a, a teaching assistantship so it was a program where you have to study for your masters as well as you have to be a teaching assistant for the undergraduate students so it's extra work you have to work 20 hours in the week but you do get paid for it and all the all the money that you make out of your teaching assistantship you can use it for groceries for your rent for uh, the other expenses that you have in university and a part of the fees you do have to pay which is a very minimal amount like six hundred dollars per year which used to come out of my salary that i had as a teaching assistant um so it's a hard life because you have to keep working all the time and you have to study as well along with working but it's doable and you do not have to depend on your family for financial support in fact you can actually open a bank account and start saving some of the money in your own name so start building your assets and your finances as soon as you can so try to go for uh, scholarships you know grants um, small jobs here and there whatever you can pick up along with your studies start building that no matter how small it is and start saving for yourself um, so that's part one that you can start then the second thing is try your best to get out of that um, environment you know so you don't have to cut all contacts with your family that's not what I'm saying but what I'm saying is uh, try to get a job in a different city or in an outskirt from where your parents are living try to live on your own with some roommates you know like the cheapest accommodation you can get or you know whatever suits you um get out of that family circle who have labeled you difficult or problematic or rebellious or whatever is the box that you have been put by the narcissistic people you kind of have to get out of that environment and start afresh you know it's like a clean slate start you can get it somewhere else and that way people are not projecting these things on you which have been projected on you since your childhood and so you kind of pick it up subtly and you go into that vibration because if everyone is kind of calling you rebellious you will become rebellious and if that's the that's the aura and energy they are creating around you either you have to be really strong to cut through that energy or an easy step forward is to leave that situation and go into a new space and don't carry that baggage with you don't carry the label of being a rebel with you in the new environment otherwise what you will do is you will start playing out your role and slowly other people will start again projecting it on you so this time you are contributing to it so it's a little bit of self-sabotage which, which has come as a baggage from this narcissistic environment to you so try to go to a new environment as a clean slate and uh, you can you can kind of make your personality be how you want it to be you know all the qualities you want yourself to have you can have in that new environment um, so yeah that's my second point third point is once you are in this new environment you have your career going to a certain degree um, do not stay too much in touch with the old environment do not share your achievements with the old environment let them think you're barely surviving that's totally fine you don't have to share your achievements that oh look i did this you don't have to prove to them anything if you try to prove to them with the expectation that they are going to see you in a different light they probably aren't going to they will try to see you in the same light as you as they saw you before and then you will feel uh, disappointed and again because their opinion of you has not really changed no matter what you have achieved elsewhere so try to cut contacts and only keep necessary contacts like 
ask them about their health if they're doing okay do they need like bare minimum finances something like that but keep it duty bound you know be duty bound do not be like attachment bound to them that oh they should see me in this light or expectation bound because if you are attachment or expectation bound again you will be disappointed but if you're duty bound then the responsibility of your duties is on you and you just fulfill the duties and that's that's the job done so keep it very practical and very um, duty bound you know um, so that's the third point then the fourth point is now that you are in this new environment and you've kind of made a new life for yourself focus on your own life cut the old contacts uh, even friends and all keep minimal contact with them and um, heal try to heal from all the old issues that you had in your life all the old problems that you faced in your life try to heal from them and um, use all the resources that you have like online resources counseling therapy self-help whatever you can and try to get over that hurt and then once you have that period of grieving done you can actually comes point number five which is like try to make a new tribe try to make a new friend group friends uh, support group supporting people around you try to take on new social responsibilities etc but that's after like you have healed up to a certain degree and you feel ready to take on that before that if you are in the hermit stage in your new place that's totally fine because a lot of purging will happen when you leave that environment and you go somewhere else a lot of flashbacks might come to you a lot of um, things that you had kind of repressed will come out in the new environment so give them some space don't just uh, jump on to the next thing that you want to do give it some space to heal and um, then you can start with your new life so this was like um, these are some steps that i myself followed in my life and um, that's how i kind of moved from india to the us and then to canada and then back to the us so um, if anyone has questions and comments regarding that then let me know if i can help you out in any way um so yeah i hope this video helps you and i wish you all a lot of love and a lot of light thank you bye